Hi, I'm Dan McGinnis, real estate agent, speaker and trainer in Phoenix, Arizona. I want to share with you an idea today about how to buy a house, how to own a home. Matter of fact, I've got a couple that I just helped purchase a home. And matter of fact, tomorrow it's closing escrow. They'll actually get their keys to the home. And I was there at the signing yesterday. And I was thinking about it as I've been working with this couple. The first home we ever looked at, it was horrible. As a matter of fact, I called the agent and I said, can you tell me where the air conditioner is in this house? We can't find it. And the agent said, I don't know. I said, you don't know? You put a listing in a multiple listing computer and you don't know where the air conditioner is? You see, unfortunately, for $500 and five weeks of school, probably in just about any state in the United States of America, a person can get a real estate license. And unfortunately, people who are firefighters, own a laundromat, work in a laundromat, work at a dry cleaners, or a school teacher, or whatever, they can have a real estate license. And they're all good people, you know. But then again, do they provide the service that a real estate agent does that does this for a living? You know, as, as I have for, for over 30 years. That, that sort of concerns me. So having a real estate agent that's looking out, as a matter of fact, another client I was with just yesterday, when I showed him a home, I pointed out, you know, there's a two-story house next door there. And those people can actually look right down into your backyard. If, if you and your wife wanted to go skinny dipping now, you know, you may or may not want to go skinny dipping. But And then when we got back inside, I said, did you also notice, Jim, that there's no bathroom on the first level? Both bathrooms are upstairs. He said, you know, I really appreciate you, Dan. I said, well, you know, that's what I've always done, Jay, is I've made an appointment to point out the negatives along with the positives. Because I've heard from time to time, you know, and being in the business over 30 years, different things that different people don't like that are negative to them. So if I see something that's negative to someone and I find that in a house that I'm showing you, I want to point that out because it might be something that would be a negative to you that you wouldn't like once you moved into the home. For instance, like the traffic on the freeway, you know, sitting out on your patio at night at 9 o'clock at night or of a morning at 6 o'clock in the morning and there's a rush hour traffic and you happen to hear that noise and then you realize later I wish I hadn't have bought this home. So that's something that I do is I make it a point to point those negative things out to a person as well as the positive. And you want to make it a point to get a real estate agent that does that for you. You'll have a happier life, you'll have a better home, and you'll enjoy your home more. And as my friend Jay says, every day is a good day except some days are better.